This is the installation video for the 2016 Triumph Street Twin Custom Watson Signals install brought to you by Analog Motor Goods. For the install, you will need one set of Watson Design Signals for Triumph motorcycles, as well as a T20 wrench, 2.5mm Allen, and 5mm Allen. Start by using the 5mm Allen to remove the two screws underneath either side of the headlight bucket. Ensure the headlight does not fall out. Carefully remove the headlight and trim ring as one piece. Disconnect the two headlight plugs. Using the T20 wrench, remove the two screws securing the plastic shroud in place inside the headlight bucket. Carefully pull the plastic shroud back to reveal the wiring inside the bucket. Locate the four wires used for the turn signals, green and white, green and red, and two individual black wires. Carefully disconnect those four wires. Slide those two wires out of each side of the rear of the headlight bucket. Remove the five millimeter Allen securing the turn signal stock to the fork tubes. Turn the stock slightly so the narrowest part of the mount can slide up the fork tube and pass between the headlight ear and the fork tube. Remove the turn signal stock. Repeat the process to remove the other turn signal stock. Begin by removing the 5mm Allen securing the stock. Slide the turn signal stock up the fork tube slightly and move aside the headlight ears to clear the stock. Carefully remove the turn signal stock from the fork tube. With the stock signals off the bike, remove the 5mm Allen holding the stock turn signals to the clamp. Slide the stock turn signal wires out of the hole in the turn signal mount. Retain the stock turn signal mount. Repeat the process for the other turn signal. Begin by removing the 5mm Allen holding the turn signal to the mount. Slide the stock turn signal wires through the hole in the mount and retain the bare mount again. Locate the two screws and washers from the Watson Signals kit and apply a small amount of blue thread locker. Slide the two wires of the Watson Signals through the hole in the stock signal mounts and position the Watson signals on the mount itself. Use the small Allen screw from the Watson kit to attach the new signal to the original mount, ensuring not to bind the wires. Tighten the screw. Your stock mount with Watson signals installed should look like this. Repeat the process of inserting the wires for the Watson signals into the stock mounts and attaching the new signal to the mount for the other side. Two stock mounts with Watson signals installed. We recommend using a piece of electrical tape underneath the mounts on either side to stop the signal from spinning once installed. Using the same technique as earlier, slide the mounts back onto the tubes and down below the headlight ears. Lift the mount over the electrical tape and position the wire beneath the mount and above the lower triple tree. Secure the mount in position with the original 5mm Allen bolt. Be sure not to over tighten and strip this bolt as it is very easy to do so. Repeat the process for installation of the other side as well. Begin with sliding the mount over the fork tube. Then push the headlight ear over to clear the mount. Slide the mount down over the electrical tape and position the wire as you did on the other side. Tighten the 5mm Allen bolt to secure the mount to the fork tube. Again, being careful not to over tighten. Feed the wires from each new Watson signal into the headlight bucket and up to the top of the bucket like the stock wires were.
Connect the wires from the Watson signals to the stock harness as such. Tuck the wires back into the top of the headlight bucket and reposition the shroud back into place. Reinstall the two screws using the T20 wrench to secure the shroud and wiring. Be careful not to pinch any of the wires. Install the headlight back into position and reconnect the two headlight plugs. Reinstall the two Allen screws holding the headlight in place, then tighten everything down. Test your headlight, left and right blinkers, and hazards. Now get out and ride! Also check out our Triumph Retro Kit for the rear of your bike to complete your custom lighting kit.